You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at the Chessington World of Adventures Resort for something very special. We've got our high vis and hard hats on, and we're ready for something awesome today, aren't we? So we're actually going on the construction site of World of Jumanji, and we're going to have a tour of the area, which I'm really looking forward to. I tell you what, this is really exciting. It's great to see Chessington putting on an event like this. So we just want to say a huge yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. to Chessington for inviting us down to come and experience this event today. Of course, we're all ready to go onto the construction site. We've been following the build of this for over a year now from outside the construction site and it's going to be great to be over the fence and actually inside the area. With going into the area we're going to really be able to see the perspective of how big the area is. We also know that Mandrel Mayhem has been testing this week so fingers crossed we're going to get to see that oh, today. I'd like to hope so. And not just from out the area actually inside the area as well but come and join us it's going to be a really exciting vlog here from Chessington as we go behind the scenes in World of Jumanji. Here we go then, so we're now inside the park and making our way down to the world of Jumanji. And I tell you what, it's so nice to see that we're going into the construction site just here, instead of looking over the fence just here, peeking over. We're just going to be able to see how big the area is and just see stuff up close, which is going to be really nice. Yeah, definitely. Really excited to step into the site. Obviously, we've had so many great updates from outside the site, but finally to step in is very exciting. And of course, you've got the inversion just here on the ride. And yeah, this structure here, which is going to form part of the entrance archway, I think we're walking through here now into the area. But yeah, I tell you what, it's nice having all the oh, themed hard lovely. hats and everything. Oh, look at this, high vis jacket, it's all themed. Which is nice. With the park logo on. There we are. Hey, and here's our look wow. into the area from here. So obviously there's going to be the big sign up on here and looking straight in. All the flooring being done, lots of landscaping still to be done here as well. And yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Of course, with the huge Jaguar shrine there in the middle. Um, as you'll have seen from the visuals uh, that have been online, this will be our new entrance portal to our new world of Jumanji, so I know it's a steel frame at the moment. Um, it will end up having the world of Jumanji in big 3D letters just here. Uh, and of course, you'll have the iconic jungle drums playing as you enter into that world of Jumanji as well. And one key thing here is that we really wanted to make a really exciting, really thrilling entrance portal into the land, which is exactly why we put our inversion right here. Because we know that all our guests, this is our key point where we know you get that kind of airtime moment, guests are going to be screaming and you have the sounds of mandrel monkeys as well. So this is going to be our really iconic uh, money shot as you walk through. And of course, we've got our sight line straight down to the Jaguar, which is that big, huge Jaguar. Uh, but it's iconic from the film that the roller coaster wraps all the way around. Um, so yeah, should we head in? Head on in. Cool. Cool. Fire on. Here we go, interesting to hear there's going to be sound effects playing oh, here as well. Good to hear, with yeah. the inversion. Oh, it feels so surreal. Last time we walked into here, it was just grass, if you remember. Like, there was a beach on here. And look at this underneath the inversion just here. It's going to be interesting to see if they put a big net over here or not. Hopefully not, but it wouldn't surprise me if we do see something over the top just there, because obviously the pathway does run directly underneath just here. So, yeah, of course, the park's BM Shuttle Wing Coaster, the only one in the world from BM. Look at this. Down into Ostrich Stampede just to our right over here. And there's also our F&B truck. Uh, fun thing with this F&B truck, you'll notice this truck uh, looks like it's kind of tipped off the road here. And everything in the land has a story behind why we've done that. So just here, this truck was actually the Jumanji Food Supply Company heading towards the bazaar to drop off some food supplies. However, the mandrels, they are pretty notorious and they've actually attacked the, uh, the food truck and ravaged it and opened it up. So as you'll see from the other side, uh, we've actually had it where it looks like it's all kind of ripped open by the uh, mandrel monkeys. And there'll be things like pattern impressed flooring of their feet in the ground to help tell that story. And of course, what they've decided to do is they couldn't obviously get the truck and the food supply to the bazaar, so they just set up shop here in the Jumanji front. So, uh, that would be our F&B uh, serving here. Another point is if you are wanted to go on the um, wanted to go on the rides, maybe some of uh, our guests might be a bit smaller than 1.2 meters. There's other activities they can do within the land. So over here, where this current skip is, there'll be a large Jumanji map where they can collect their kind of uh, map of Jumanji. There's an activity trail, a bit like what you might see in the Shipwreck Coast, where they can go around and answer questions uh, and part of their kind of activity trail for Jumanji. Other things they can do, we've got uh, play equipment through the land as well. Uh, very good opportunity in the middle. So this is something what we call a trompe l'oeil effect, which is what you see out here in World Jumanji. Uh, you can take photographs with it today. Um, the idea is there's a certain mark on the floor. You'll see a little camera if you stand on it and you put your phone maybe in landscape. Uh, it makes the image actually look like standing up and you can stand behind it. So it's a really great um, selfie point as well, having the Jaguar sitting just behind you. 
Um, and of course, we've got the iconic totems from the film that we've included, and each one of those has a sound effect that goes alongside them as well. And a look just here at one of the two flat rides in World of Jumanji. This is Ostrich Stampede, manufactured by SBF Visa Group. And yeah, John's going to tell us some more information about this now. It's like dune buggies, it's kind of very rustic. So um, all this is, looks a bit like a junkyard theme when it's done with ostrich feathers everywhere. And all these walls, you will not see breeze block walls. They will all be kind of carved um, to look like uh, rockwork and sandstone. So all that gets um, thematically tied into as well. Fun thing with this area as well that I know some of you guys probably might have already spotted. Um, as part of our kind of uh, recycling and sustainability piece, we do like to reutilize certain uh, things from other parks, attractions, so we don't just put them in the junk. And so the cabin at the front wasn't reused for a ripsaw uh, for Morton Towers originally. Um, the we utilized as part of that uh, design piece. Another fun thing about the, each of the rides, and I'll start with this one, is each ride will have synchronised music that goes alongside of it to help uh, really help uh, like amplify that guest experience. So each one has a bespoke score that's been worked with with Sony uh, for the ride, inspired by the films, as well as BGM tracks that will kind of fade in and out when the rides are all, all that as well. Oh, and look at the Jaguar Shrine just here. Of course, with Mandrill Mayhem, the B&M wing coaster, spiralling around the statue just there. It looks absolutely fantastic it really does it's so nice to see it up close just here like when you're outside the area you don't realize the scale that this actually is it looked massive when you stood next to it it's humongous isn't it of course it is still an active construction site as you can see there's a lot of work still going on we've been told there's a lot of landscaping still to be done so obviously it's quite open at the moment it will be quite closed in yeah i think that will make it a lot better when all the trees are there and it will just look so much better yeah i mean obviously there's some planting in place but, but not, not anywhere it, near yeah. as much planting as what there is going to be but uh, it's so nice to see merlin doing something like this taking us for a tour around giving us some details and yeah, look at this, absolutely beautiful. The shrine looks amazing. And yeah, all that track just there. Oh, fantastic. I love the colour scheme as well. It's gonna look great on a sunny day. So nice just to see this up close and really appreciate it. And yeah, you can imagine, of course, there's all the leaves on the trees just behind here as well. And the additional landscaping that's gonna be put into place. It's gonna look brilliant. But yeah, obviously the coaster comes around this way, up to the top just here before coming straight back down the spiral here and yeah the spike that we can see over there of course that's used at the start of the layout uh, to build the speed to come down this way before coming back through yeah absolutely awesome just to see this up close like, it's amazing and there's a lot of work still to be done here however it's so nice to be on the site and get a unique up close and personal look at everything that's happening here in the world of Jumanji obviously you've got the station building just over there as well this is the start of all the queue line coming into place just here now you can see all these little parts of the queue line some of the launch mechanism and braking just over there as well and yeah the station building which yeah more theming started to be put into place now just on there as well especially on the open sections as we can see i think the station actually looks better from inside the area than outside it looks better like inside but i still think it needs some little bits to not make it look so tin sheddy yeah apparently i mean i've never actually watched jumanji but apparently the it, original it, it, but i've not <laughs> seen the new version apparently it looks just like We're it gonna have to watch so that's obviously what they're going for yeah, isn't it you know which is, is, is good to see we'll have to watch yeah footprints all down here as well as we make our way in and yeah obviously you've got the big logo just here in the middle all this walking area. I mean, once all the planting grows, this will be great round here. I've noticed lots of speakers, and John was talking a little bit about audio just. Obviously, how there's going to be custom soundtracks for the rides, uh, and then like a BGM playing in the background, which is great. But yeah, there's loads of speakers all around here, isn't there? Which is good to see. Yeah, fantastic. Audio really makes an area. Yeah, it does. A little bit of play equipment just over here as well. Obviously, the little buildings going up around here as well that I'd imagine are going to be pretty heavily themed. And all the queue line just off to the right hand side there as well. Yeah, lots going on. Lots to see. I mean, look at some of the detailed rocks being done just down the bottom there. That looks awesome. Of course, the other flat ride in the area just here. Mamba Strike. Just over there as well. Little Miami attraction. Here we are then, right in the centre of the land. And of course, with World of Jumanji there in the floor. And then looking out towards the Helix. And of course, the Jaguar Shrine just there as well. And yeah, once all the landscape is in, this is going to be phenomenal. It really is a very immersive themed area because you can't really see much outside of the area, or at least you won't when all the trees and landscaping's in, which in my opinion is going to make it really immersive and look forward to the soundtrack as well. I mean, audio is a huge part of the experience for me in theme parks. So I think, you know, seeing all these speakers around and hearing there's going to be custom soundtracks for the rides, um, that gets me really excited because audio can make or break an area in my opinion. Obviously all these little details around here at the side are great. And yeah, 
there's not really going to be any fencing around these. They're actually hoping for all the landscaping to uh, take over this. So it'd be a bit like a, you know, walking around this jungle, this big photo op in the middle. But over the years, you're not really going to see this here from uh, from outside. You know, you'll kind of walk around this labyrinth, if you like, and see it here in the middle, um, which will look fantastic. It'll age really well. Here we go then. So we're making our way into the station for Mandrill Mayhem this now. This is going to be really exciting to go in there and see a perspective of what they've done and see the size of the station as well. And also the train. Yeah, exactly. It's a training <laughs> person. Here we go. Mosquito uh, bash uh, game and you can test your strength to see if you're as strong as Dr. Bravestone within the land as well. Um, so the various games uh, within there. And then what will be around the corner in the right, that's where we have your collection of your photograph um, and retail experience, um, of course is after the ride uh, from Andrew Mayhem. And as we walk down, you'll see in a minute, we've also then got our uh, third small flat ride, which is uh, Mamba Strike. Again, it's the yeah, um, top dancer uh, ride, theme to the iconic scene of the Mamba in the film. And we're still working on the Mamba, so the Mamba, it, that's not the final colour or anything of the Mamba, it will be much more realistic looking uh, than the one we've got here. Um, for it. And again, synchronised music um, and content for that as well. So if you want to head down to the Mamba, Oh, look at this. So just before we head into the station, we're walking down this little street area. It's going to be like a bazaar. I mean, you can see all the structure here. I'd imagine we're going to have a lot of fabrics on there. And they're all games down here as well, like John was just telling us. And of course, down here as well, you've got the other flat ride, close and personal. This looks really nicely built, actually. Really good quality, which is nice to see. And obviously, the rock work that we can see being done just on the side here looks great. It's quite a big area, isn't it, when you get in here and see it? And a closer look just here at Mamba Strike. And of course, the Mamba just on the top there as well. More detailing to be added, I believe, on there. And yeah, manufactured again by SBF Visa. Of the sculptors over here uh, working on that. So all the breeze, this was once breeze block, and all that gets completely kind of overworked. You can see behind me the ride cabin is all done to make it look like wooden timber. It's all like concrete carved uh, bits. And that happens to all of the units over here, as well as the, the walls around the land. So again, no breeze box. Or thematically, uh, thematic walls. And of course, signage will bring this whole land to life. So there's loads of Easter eggs and various bits going into this from the world of Jumanji um, to make this come to life uh, as well. There'll be some references that were introduced in the Gardland version of the ride as well, which will also uh, come into this one. Here we go then. So of course, B&M are still doing the commissioning here on Mandrill Mayhem. But it is now testing for us to see just here in the area. Look at this. Look at the train just there. Second launch up into the helix. Beautifully smooth. Another boost there as well. so graceful doesn't it look at that i love how excited everybody got there we all just ran <laughs> what's really funny is we were just chatting with john burton saying oh are we going to see it testing yeah, today I know. Was just like, oh, i'm not too sure they just went <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing obviously with a ride like this bnm are doing a lot of commissioning yeah, a lot of testing has to thing. take place it was like i think i don't think they were expecting no, that to no. be honest it was just like an unplanned here we go we weren't like standing in the middle or anything no, it, it just kind of happened yeah. and sometimes that's the best thing we might see it again in just a moment fantastic. but uh, oh. oh here we go we fantastic go. we got some more angles see the backward seat on there as well look at that oh gives you goosebumps in it test for the first time look at that beautiful beautiful bnm coaster
I tell you what, it's really exciting to see mandrel mayhem tested. And we've seen it go around a few times, which is great. And of course, we're in the station just here now as well, getting to see the train up close and personal. Of course, we'll talk more about our thoughts and what we saw from the testing a little bit later in the video. But yeah, I tell you what, just to see a new BNM here in the UK, fantastic. And yeah, here's a close look at the train. So you can see the Vestas train, it's a little bit different just there. I'm sure the test dummies in there at the moment. Of course, the ride is called Mandrel Mayhem, and there's the Mandrel himself just down there, ready to be added onto the front of the train. We'll go and get a closer look in just a second. Yeah, you can see the details on there, looks quite nice actually. And talking of details, loads to see here in the station. Of course, the track looks amazing with the green colour scheme, but then here in the station, all the wooden effect looks great. You've got the bamboo all on the walls just here, and lots of thematic lighting. You can see the trusses on either side just here. Lots of theme lighting and all the wooden effect at the side. The station has really exceeded expectations inside here. And even on the outside, it's looking better now than it was. Obviously, you've got like all the tree trunk effect on the side. That continues to the exterior of the station as well. But yeah, it's open as in there's still gaps in the sides, which is quite nice, but it's very atmospheric. And obviously these are just the house lights at the moment when the show lights are on in here. I think this is gonna be pretty special. Have a great atmosphere. testing footage there of mandrel mayhem this time from inside the station and of course here's a look at the mandrel itself yeah some really nice details on there like all the color scheme on there is fantastic and yeah quite big actually and of course these will go in the center of each of the rows yeah it looks fantastic great to see this ride testing and yeah the details in here fantastic the station's a lot bigger than i was expecting actually loads to see really took me by surprise this station inside and just before we head out of the station, some more details here. Warning, mandrels, lots of signs, some more bamboo. Yeah, all this looks brilliant, it really does. Just shows, doesn't it? You've got to wait until you start seeing the end result for some of these projects. Sometimes we jump ahead, don't we, you know, and think, oh, how's it gonna look? But no, I'm really, really pleased with this. And obviously I love how you can see the helix and the spike, the shrine you can just see there as well. Obviously all the handprints, they were some of the first bits of theming to go into place in World of Jumanji. But no, it looks really good, very impressed. And yeah, there's a look, of course, of a B&M commissioning the ride. Yeah, the op panel across the top, obviously you've got the steps that run over here onto this side. Looks really nice and the flooring's good in here. I'm hoping we see this kind of graining done on the tarmac throughout the rest of the area because it looks awesome. So we just stepped out of World of Jumanji now and of course we'll share all our thoughts on what we've seen shortly. But I just wanted to mention as well that Dragon's Fury supports have been painted. I think it looks really nice, we like the red colour, it looks nice and fresh and it was much needed, hopefully the track next. Yeah, fingers crossed because the supports look really nice and fresh actually, so yeah it's good to see. I think with the moment a brand new shiny coaster. It needed to be nice and clean. Yeah, like right next to it as well from, from down that way, you see it close. Good, yeah. yeah, definitely, so it's nice to see them painting the supports, hopefully the track will get done at some point. Well, we just handed in our hard hats and high visits back here at the hotel. And I tell you what, I love those being custom. Honestly, they was lovely to see. And I tell you what, it's been great getting to step onto the construction site of World of Jumanji. Officially opening on the 15th of May, 2023. Date for your diaries. And of course, a very exciting investment for Chessington. I'm glad that we finally got a date so we know when it's opening, but the whole area just looks fantastic. So I can't wait to finally step inside when it's fully ready. It gives me a lot of hope that there's still a lot more theming and landscaping as well to go into the area. The in fact, we're still a couple of months away from this area opening. Shows how much care and details going in. Things like the little bizarre marketplace area with the game stalls. All them little details that we've seen today that we didn't really know what to expect. You can really see the potential of stuff that's going to look a really good finished product. Yeah, we know there's going to be all the audio throughout the area, custom soundtracks, and lots of theming and details. But of course, let's talk about the main event itself, Mandrel Mayhem. We've seen it testing today, and I tell you what, the pacing of it looks really good. I think for a family thrill coaster, it's going to be great. Like coming through into the station it actually goes so fast the launch does i think it looks a great coaster it does top speed of 42 miles an hour i think john said earlier on yeah, for it so it yeah it's quite a good speed and like charlotte said it really it whizzes through the fast. station obviously on the spike which is only used at the start of the ride and um, through the inversion it's got quite a nice speed to it and of course the little booster launch before it heads up the helix itself it doesn't stop at the top of the helix or anything like that it then starts to roll back uh, and of course 
through, complete the layout backwards again. Uh, I think it looks great. I know a lot of people were saying, oh, it looks quite slow. However, I think this past week or so, since the first testing was done, it, it started to faster. speed up a bit. I completely agree. Yeah, and you've got to think, this isn't a big, uh, massive thrill ride for the park. Um, you know, it is a, a coaster what's designed for families and That's thrill it. seekers together. It's an experience ride, and you can see that with the area. But now I think it looks great. I think the mandrel's going to look really nice oh, as well. I think that looks really good. It will look good when it's all on the train and finished. What I found quite interesting with the coaster is actually how it doesn't use the spike at the end of the ride. I thought it was going to come through the station like a fly-through backwards and then up the spike a little bit yeah, and then slow. Uh, the braking looks pretty sudden, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's still just because of the programming, but I think from what people have said today, that is how it's going that's to be. Um, which, yeah, that's going to be quite forceful when it comes in there. You're going to stop really yeah, quick. Yeah, because you've done all this layout yeah. and then it's just going to come to an abrupt stop. Yeah, which is quite interesting. I mean, the biggest surprise to me today has been the station. That was my one area of concern. However, them worries have now gone from what we've seen today. Like, the station looks fantastic. There's so much theming on the inside, which looks great. Yeah, from the outside, we were unsure on things like the handprints and that sort of thing. From the inside, it, it makes a lot more good, sense. Yeah. You've got like the tree trunks at the building up on the side, some more rock work, all the wooden sections as well. Uh, lots of bamboo in the station, lots more details to go in. And uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with that, all the theme lighting in the station. It is open, as in it's not fully closed in at the tops, um, which is quite nice. So you're still gonna, you know, feel like you're in the area and uh, look out all the planting, but also it's gonna have a nice atmosphere and it has got a cover over you're which is good. You're gonna get some nice light seeping through as well. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. It's Overall, I'm really impressed with what we've seen. Just wanna say a big thank you to Chessington you so for having us down here today for this hard hat construction site tour. It's been great to see. I really hope we see more stuff like this I'd from like the parks so. and Merlin attractions, especially there being a lot happening now with Project Exodus. Uh, of course, possibly a water park here in the future they've put in plans for. Secret Weapon 9 at Alton Towers, new coasters at Legoland. Lots happening and hopefully more of this from Merlin. I'd like to hope so because it's nice for us to actually get on site and see stuff. Yeah, definitely and bring you all the latest updates. But uh, there we go. World of Jumanji looks absolutely fantastic. Stick with us here at Theme Park Worldwide. We'll bring you some more updates in the run up to the opening because of course the park opens in a few weeks time. We'll be here then, bring you some more updates and uh, yeah, then we'll head into the area in May Very this exciting. year. It is indeed. It's going to be absolutely awesome. But from Chessington, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all in the next video.